Well, welcome back to another episode, everyone. It is just an absolutely beautiful morning to be on the water in northern Michigan. You can see the air is cold, the water is warm, and all the fog that is rising up off the river. And this week, I am joined by my friends Dave and Harvey, and the three of us go back fishing together for quite a few years. So needless to say, we're all very excited to see what the next two days are gonna have in store. Just getting ready. First trip of the year for salmon season. Gonna try some new stuff. Um, gonna try some new Nova Whackers. Gonna show people what we're doing. What's different between a regular uh, stick bait that everyone's been using. Something new we designed. And um, try to get some fish on that. Try to get some fish on skiing and you know, have some fun. This is the old war dog. Look at <laughs> but now. If, That's after I cleaned it last week. If this doesn't tell the tale of a diehard <laughs> salmon fisherman, I don't know what does. We're gonna scratch a few i can tell you that right now there's plenty of fish in there plenty we're going fishing bud we're going fishing yes sir yes sir just an absolutely beautiful morning guys and as you can see the river is getting pretty busy there's quite a few trailers here but you know what oliver's excited i'm excited we're all excited it's gonna be a great trip Since we're starting a little later in the morning, we're gonna go straight to float fishing with salmon skein and beads. But later this afternoon and tomorrow morning, we're gonna be throwing a lot of Dave's new Whacker stick baits, which are a great lure to fish for King Salmon with. But here today, guys, I'm gonna be running this new rod that Dave just built, and this is an absolute weapon of mass destruction. This is a Nova Tackle Company, 11 foot, six inch rod. It's 10 to 25 pound, and this is gonna beat on some fresh Kings over the next two days, and I can't wait to run this stick. Bead bite. Bead bite. Oh my gosh, Harvey, he's going down to some timber. Guys, look at the bend on this rod. And this fish is just absolutely peeling. Guys, I don't know if you can see it too well, but there's a huge log straight down below the boat here where I'm pointing. Some. And yeah, it looks like the fish just got into it. Really couldn't do anything with him though. Oh, he still got him. I think he might have just came out hard. He came out of it. Nice, nice. I'm trying to get him back in the trough. Yeah, I think he might be right on that log. He's off. Oh, he got in that log, didn't he? Couldn't do nothing with him. That fish had some serious oh, shoulders. That fish had shoulders. <laughs> okay, let's make a note. That fish was absolutely peeling this dragon. Look how tight it is. <laughs> you barely pull on it, dude. Gets any tighter or cut you. Wow, that just goes to show you how much power these fish have. And sometimes there's just nothing you can do with them. But that was the first fish we hooked this morning. We're in the second hole. We just got in here and Harv stuck a big fish on a bead and it broke off. But that's just the way it goes. Okay, check this out, guys. I'm running skein. Dave's running skein with a bead. And Harvey is running just a single bead. So we got a little bit of everything going. Harv hooked that first fish on a bead. We're going to run some bait down through here and see what happens. Let's see if we can get another one out of this hole. Oh! Jesus, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> that thing got sharked. Oh my gosh. That thing shot down a foot instantly. <laughs> Keep her there. Oh. There he is. That is a perfect landing size fish for this hole. That is a per perfect landing ran right fish. Out, ran right out to the sand. It's on the bead too, guys. Yeah, bead to bead. The dog's all about it. <laughs> Oliver's <laughs> loving it. Oliver's loving it. We're gonna get this fish in here. See what we have, guys. See what we have. There we go. Nice net hard. There we go, baby. Dog's like, all right. <laughs> You, you losers are on your game now. Finally got one in the boat for him. Nice job, Dave. All right, guys, you got your slack? I do. We're good. Ready. First drifter. First drift in this new hole, guys. We just got into this spot here, and it did not take long. She bit a 14 millimeter uh, bloop red rum. It's been a really good bead for me. Got it on the Nova NTX 1385, 11 foot six. 10 to 25 center pin. Um, but quick work to her. See what we have here, guys. It looked like a nice bright fish, didn't it? Looked nice. <laughs> look at that rod just bending, guys. Fish is coming up here. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we can get a look. He's like running back to the side here. 
sharking down. Oh, nice. Oh, dodged the net. Did not like the looks of that net. That's a nice looking fish though. It looks like a nice hen. Let's see what we have. Nice bright one too. Oh, look at the fish following it, guys. I don't know if you can see that. There's fish following it. There we go, baby. Woo. Nice. Nice. Don't post that shit. That was awesome. <laughs> Get those practice runs out. <laughs> look at that. That's a nice looking fish, Harv. Nice, buddy. The band's getting back together. The band is back together, <laughs> brother man. That is awesome. Ooh. One took you for all your worth, hey, Harv? Oh, yeah. Just a heck of a battle in this hole, guys. Tons of timber, but just another beautiful Michigan salmon, and that will work. First one of the day for you, hey? Yep, I'm happy. All right, buddy. That's Take a, a break one. now. <laughs> Take a break. Beautiful. There's one. How does it feel, brother man? <laughs> it feels great, brother man. We got a fish out, baby. <laughs> we got a fish out, baby. This hole is paying dividends. <laughs> Guys, we had to fish this hole for a while too. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here we go. Come to this side. Oliver, stay in the boat. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Egg wagon. Another hen. Another hen, baby. Another hen. Whew, gosh, just a workout. These fresh salmon, fresh kings, early season like this, there's just nothing quite like it. Where's he at, Oliver? Where's he at? Oh, coming to this side. Coming to this side. Round robin, guys. Doing the round. See if we can get a look. Oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes. Nice net, Dave. Good job, Kyle. Oh, guys, check out this fish. Whew. That's a good looking fish too. Man, this rod, this reel was an absolute whooping stick. Nice, oh, that's a bright one, all right. Oh yeah. Nice, we'll eat that one, I think, I think. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it was right at that log back there too. You had to hook down? Barely. All right, guys, check her out, baby. That is a beautiful, fresh Michigan River salmon. We all have a fish in the boat now, and we haven't been fishing for that long. Just a great day. It's about 80 degrees, and I have a feeling we're gonna be swimming with these fish in a little bit. Well, one thing we were just talking about, guys, is how territorial these fish are this time of year. Dave caught one on the first cast out of this hole, but then we fished it for another 45 minutes without a bite until Harvey hooked that fish, and I hooked mine right after. And when Harvey was fighting that fish, we saw several more shooting around, and sometimes that's all it takes to stir up the hole and get some bites. So it just goes to show you, sometimes you just have to slow down, fish these holes hard, and really work them out of here. Oh my gosh, guys. Got, got a fish on, baby, in such a woody hole. Oh, he's off. He got in wood. He got in wood. Oh, golly, guys. I didn't have my chest cam running. We'd been fishing this hole for a long time and uh, just hooked one and he got me in wood. My heart is racing right now. I didn't have my chest cam running when I hooked that, but I just got tore up, man. My heart is racing right now. It got me in the wood though. I felt it get underneath something and snapped off. That's all she wrote. <laughs> what do you think about that, bud? Oh, you've been waiting for this, haven't you? All right, well, we're gonna take a little break here. We've been fishing hard. The bite has been pretty tough with this hot, sunny day. I think we've hooked about seven or eight fish so far, but now it is time for some lunch. We're gonna get some fish tacos going and then fish out the rest of the afternoon. Wow, that is some beautiful river meat there. It doesn't get any better than that. You can see we took the eggs out of her. They're pretty underdeveloped yet, so this fish is a ways away from spawning, but this is gonna be some great meat for lunch today. You tell him. You tell him, bud. Smoke good 
on there hard. A couple peppers on there. All right, guys, our fish tacos are done here. Take a look at these, got them nice and toasted up. We have avocado, red onion, red peppers, tartar sauce, smoked Gouda cheese, and our fried fish here. And let's see how they turned out. Okay, now this is gonna be the real test because Harv is not a salmon fan. So if Harv likes this, it's gonna be all right. All right, Harv, what do you think? First bite, buddy. I'm gonna say thumbs up. I would have never believed it. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out all right, eh? Turned out great. All right. Dave, you approve? Heck yeah, great stuff. All right, man, cool. Well, guys, we're gonna hammer down here and we're gonna go fish the rest of the afternoon. The sun is starting to drop a little bit and we're gonna have some nice shade holes now. So we're feeling pretty confident for the rest of the day, but this is a great way to refuel and it's just been an awesome day. All right, guys, we're just getting into a hole here this afternoon. Gonna get baited up, put a big old wad down there for them and see if we can get a nice salmon to come attack this. We fished through a couple holes so far, haven't had any success, but we just came into this nice shaded hole here and we're gonna see if we can pick off a couple more before the evening's over. Oh, did you see that, Harv? Dude, I just got bobbed. I just got bobbed for sure. Oh, he's just something that... Might have been a body bone. Yeah, it was something. Definite, definite. Oh my goodness gracious. Golly, that's a rob. Let's see. Yeah, he mashed my bag pretty good. All right, guys, something's getting worked up down there. Something's getting worked up. I still have some bait. Oh, he strung out my bait. Definitely strung out my bait. That was a bite. Something's getting worked up. We'll see if we can hook one. Here we go, guys. First one of the afternoon here. Been a little bit of a grind so far. It's a feisty one, that's for sure. Whoa, 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 holy smokes. I had him back up here. Now, there's nothing quite as exciting as fighting fresh river kings on a pin. I have not seen the color of this fish, but man, I tell you what, it has some spunk. Holy crap, nuts. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Whew. Almost sabotaged by the rod holder, but we got the fish in the net, baby. <laughs> Thanks, brother man. All right, guys, we broke the dry spell here. It's been a grind today for the last few hours. Just a slow pick. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so when we started fishing this morning, the sun was already well up and it was later in the morning. We got a late start to it, so we decided to just go straight to float fishing with eggs and beads. But tomorrow morning, we're gonna get out on the river at the crack of dawn and start throwing stick baits. Now, I wanted to show you guys the setup that we're gonna be running here. So for a rod, we're running a Nova Tackle Company. This is the NTX 1145. It's a nine foot six, 10 to 25 pound rated. And this is a perfect rod for throwing sticks. You could also use this in the river for float fishing as well. This is a great rod and this is what we're going to use tomorrow morning. Now for our main line here, we're running 40 pound test power pro as our main line and we're just going to tie that directly straight to our whacker stick bait here. So let me show you guys these new stick baits. So we're going to use this hot tiger whacker stick bait here. This is a great color that produces all throughout the fall and the beauty of running stick baits like this is if you don't have skein, if you don't have fresh skein, this is a great way to have success on the river. You just want to get out there early in the morning or Cassie's late in the afternoon and these fresh Chinook salmon will absolutely crush these baits and there are definitely times all throughout the fall when these will even outproduce fishing eggs as well so these are definitely a great bait to have in your arsenal and the beauty of these baits as well guys is they come with great hooks most stick baits you would have to change out the hooks but these have high quality hooks on them and they sink as well and I absolutely love that because a lot of the holes that we're fishing are 10 to 12 14 down to 20 feet deep and if you're running a traditional floating stick bait your baits only getting down six eight feet in the hole but with this stick bait you can drop it down let it sink down to 10 12 feet into the hole and you're going to be right in the strike zone and it honestly makes a great difference and another thing that i really like as well is you guys can hear that rattle Salmon are a very territorial, aggressive fish, and anything that's gonna entice a strike is gonna give you an advantage. So I'm gonna take this snap swivel and I'm gonna hook this up, and then we're gonna see you guys bright and early in the morning with hopefully a big salmon on the line, baby. Ready for 
for some action guys we're up and at it we got a cup of coffee Oliver's ready to go and we are heading out on this beautiful morning you can see it's pretty foggy What are you thinking about the morning there, old man? I'm thinking I'd like to tear into one real quick, like here. Slap one on the whacker stick bait? It'd be nice. That was so cool when the guy was fighting that fish and he had his head through the body. Is that a fish rolling? Yep. Hey, been rolling. Well, that did not take long this morning, guys. Yeah. Within the first few casts. It took me four casts. Four casts, guys. Oh! <laughs> In the dark, baby. Couple I haven't got any idea what we got for structure over here. No idea. It is so dark out, guys. It's so foggy and there's tons of structure, so we're just hoping for the best with this fish. But it is a great start to the morning to have one on. That fish is, look at that fish just darting around. Yeah, really. <laughs> nice, guys, nice, nice. Look how excited Oliver is. He's like, finally, yes, that didn't take long. Tails, tails just a wagon. We got fish in the net, guys. What a great start well, to the was morning. Tough, Oliver. Good job, Oliver. That didn't take long. You don't want to lick him with that. Well, what a great start to the morning, guys. The whacker stick bait, getting it done early. Look at that. That is a nice male to start the morning, Harv. I like it. I like it a lot. Good fight. Well, it is just another beautiful morning to be on the water in northern Michigan. We've been throwing stick baits for the first hour or so. Harvey caught that fish and we missed a few others, but we're in a good spot here and we don't want to lose it. So, we're going to start fishing bait here in a little bit and see what happens. Break out the weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, baby. That's how deep I was freaking. Right. No way, dude. I'm only like seven foot. That was definitely a bite. It was definitely Oh, I would bet you there's 50 to 100 fish in this stretch. But, like Kyle said, it might take until the sun actually comes out to get them to go. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one. Yeah, baby. Got him. Finally. We've been fishing this whole while, guys. You know, sometimes it's like this. When it's a foggy, cold morning, it takes a little while to get them going, and that's exactly what we saw. But we finally got a fish on. And look at that rod throbbing, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see what we have here. Oliver's ready. <laughs> okay, I'll hop up here. Not a bit, not a mile. Oh, it's a bright fish, though. There we go. That's a nice looking fish, guys. Nice and bright. A nice bright one to start the morning. It does, like I'll, I'll check it out. Well, a nice bright hen to start the morning. We've been fishing bait in this hole for quite a while, but on these cool fall mornings when it's chilly and there's a lot of fog, it can take a while to get them going. So sometimes you just gotta fish slow and work these holes out, but just a great start to the morning. Let's get another one. Oliver's getting excited, guys. <laughs> He's getting excited. There we go. Nice. All right. Got one. Got one, buddy. Got one. <laughs> yep. Popped off in the net, too. Got a midday fish, guys. It's been a lull. It has been a lull. But we finally got another one on here. He's sharking up river, baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at all the fish shooting up. There was like 10 fish shooting up. He got me in stuff. He got me in wood. Oh, I don't know. He's underneath something, guys. I can see the fish rolling on. And we might be able to. Oh, he's. Oh. No, he's underneath of a log. I'm still gaining on him, though. 
Let's see. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Man, dude, did you see all the fish that came out of there? Dude, broke me off. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> got tore up, guys. That's how she goes. It got me underneath of a random log on the bottom. That fish just dove, ran upstream, dove underneath the log, and then broke me off over there. That's all she wrote. <laughs>